Hello everyone, this is NS Steampunk. I'm reporting live here at the famed Byesville Scenic Railway over here in Byesville, Ohio. Um, I was staying in touch with some of the volunteers who helped maintain this train and I was given an update. Um, I don't know if there, this is hope that the train will return to service anytime soon, but I was told that uh, maintenance checks will be done on the historic diesel locomotive number 386. Um, I was told by one of the volunteers that every 90 to 100 days um, checkups will be done on the locomotive, specifically referring to um, the diesel locomotive compartment, such as the prime mover, um, anything referring to ranging from the air hoses to the journal box is everything that uh, pertains to the operation, safe operation of a diesel locomotive. So other than that, no other news going on with the uh, Beisel Scenic Railway at this point. Also from my last video, if you look a little bit close to one of the steps on one of the cars, the car 4362, the Beisel coach, um, there was a um, long bar that's temporarily being used to hold up one of the steps. Apparently one of the uh, staircases um, rusted away. Um, there will be need for a professional welder to come on out and keep that step in good working order so that way it's safe for passengers to board when the time for train rides comes back into service. Um, I also got some I don't know if this is accurate or not, but from what I've heard from the volunteers of the Biosel Scenic Railway that the transfer caboose, as you can see down there in front of the ballast car and crane, um, I was told, I don't know if this is accurate or not, but it might still be owned by the Age of Steam Roundhouse up in Sugar Creek, Ohio. So there was a possibility that the caboose will be heading back to Sugar Creek, but I don't know if this is accurate or not. Other than that, I'm hoping to see these two wonderful coaches getting their windows fixed up. It's been nearly five years since these windows were broken in by vandals, as you can see with the white stripe kind of covering the front of the windows of the cars. As you can see, this train is needing some tender loving care at this point. And I'm hoping that with enough volunteer work and approval from the Genesee and Wyoming Railroad Company, that train rides can re return to Byesville once again. So. This is NS Steampunk reporting live from Byesville. We hope to see the return of train rides in the future. Until then, this is NS Steampunk signing out. Tower 93, over and out.